One of the most compelling reasons to lose weight and not gain weight over time is because it turns out that being overweight or obese increases your pace of biologic aging. We're going to talk more about this today. A fascinating new analysis involving 600,000 people was recently published in the Journal of Lipids and Health and Disease. The title of this analysis is titled Causal Association of Obesity and Epigenetic Aging and Telomere Length, a Bidirectional Mendelian Randomization Study. So I know there's a lot of jargonistic words in this title. We're not going to really talk much further about complex biologic terms, but we need to understand what epigenetic age means. It turns out that as we get older, the software that are governing which genes are turned on or turned off called the epigenome changes. And that predictability in the change is linked with our pace of aging. So we've all met people who look as though they're 50 and they might be 70 or 80, right? They're aging really well. And if we would like to age really well as we get older, one of the things that we should be focusing on is maintaining healthy body composition because being overweight or over fat accelerates the pace of aging. So this is different from our chronologic age. You know, I'm almost 42. And so I can't change that. You might be 29, you might be 57. You can't change your chronologic age, but it turns out that your lifestyle, your diet, your nutrition, your stress habits, your sleep habits, your exercise habits, all these things influence how your biology is aging. And part of what also governs aging is your telomeres. And these are the protective caps on your chromosomes. And so you can look at enzymes such as telomerase. These are the repair enzymes on the tips of your chromosomes that help maintain the length of the telomeres and also the structure and the stability of your epigenome, again, which is the software orchestrating your genomic hardware. So we always get you know, different software updates on our computer and on our phone. That's not changing the hardware of the computer or the phone, but that is changing the function of how that hardware works. And it turns out that all of the lifestyle factors that we embrace impact the software that govern the hardware of our genes. And it turns out through genome-wide association studies, overweight and obese individuals have software that is biologically older than their chronologic age would suggest. And that's the take home here. So we really should be prioritizing our lifestyle to optimize our body composition because a healthy body composition is linked with ideal or optimal aging. And so we're really gonna talk about this. So the methods that this study utilized to make the correlation between obesity and accelerated biologic aging was the investigators looked at body mass index, waist circumference, and waist to hip ratio to look at markers of being overweight or obese and correlated that with epigenetic age using what's known as the Horvath clock, the Grimm age clock, and the Pheno age. And so these are ways to look at epigenetic age. I know these are complex things that you're not really going to actually go home and test, although you could. I've had several clients that use a company called True Health Diagnostics. And they look at telomere length, they look at various epigenetic clocks and beyond. So that's something that you could actually do. But I think it's interesting that there are now numerous studies finding obesity and overweight are linked with accelerated biologic aging. And that's why we see so many different chronic conditions that are linked with obesity, from hypertension to cancer to depression to autoimmunity, gastrointestinal issues, premature mortality, and more. Now, before we talk about the details of this analysis, I want to let you know that this show is brought to you by our friends over at bondcharge.com, the makers of a range of health tools, including the pulsed electromagnetic field therapy mats, which are phenomenal tools, my friends. These can really help you calm down and relax before bed. I'm really impressed with the build and the quality of this. And when I first got the PEMF mat, I had had no idea what to expect, but after using it, I was blown away at how calm and relaxed and grounded I felt. This is built really, really well with the precious gemstones and also the magnetic pulse. It comes with a little magnet and you can see the magnet moving around. They're indicating that it's using this magnetic energy to help ground and heal your body. It's an amazing tool that you can add to your wellness routine. So definitely check it out and see the many reviews over at bondcharge.com for slash HIH. And I will link that in the description below. Again, that URL one more time is bondcharge.com for slash HIH. So getting back to the study, the investigators say that body mass index, waist circumference, and waist to hip ratio exhibit significant associations with accelerated pace of biologic aging. And these indicators are all correlated, meaning that if you have increased waist to hip ratio, increased BMI, or increased waist circumference, that is correlated with accelerated pace of biologic aging. And this could be due to the different mechanisms because we know that as you gain body fat, there are concomitant changes within 
inflammation and inflammatory processes within the body. So mechanistically, this makes sense because obesity is characterized as a chronic low-grade inflammatory condition leading to an upregulation in the expression of pro-inflammatory cytokines like interleukin, TNF-alpha. In the adipose tissue or the fat tissue of overweight individuals, the investigators say this phenomenon may be attributed in part to changes within the macrophage subtype within the fat tissue. But the take home message is this, if you're overweight or obese, the odds ratio is 2.099, suggesting that you have a 100% increase risk of aging biologically faster if you're overweight compared to if you're lean. That's the important take home here. So if for no other reason you don't have motivation to go to the gym and eat better foods and manage your stress and go to bed on time, you know, this I think is the most compelling reason because people spend a lot of money on slowing down the aging of their skin with Botox, with uh, anti-wrinkle creams, retinal compounds. There, there's a lot of things that people spend, you know, dyeing their hair, um, plastic surgery. I mean, this is a very uh, huge business. You know, one of the best things that you can do it turns out to support the health of your biologic aging process is to lose body fat, is to maintain a healthy body composition. And we can do that with the meals that we eat. So you eat, a, you eat roughly a thousand meals every single year. Make those meals higher in protein, lower in processed foods. Try to minimize consumption of anything that's packaged that contains seed oils, such as canola, soy, cottonseed oil. Try to make your meals at home. Try to compress your feeding window, uh, walk after meals, all of these things. Because in conclusion, this present study supports a strong causal association between obesity and accelerated pace of biologic aging, as well as telomere length shortening. Now, this is also important because we know that accelerated pace of aging is linked with early onset cancer, as well as other cardiovascular diseases and beyond. Uh, numerous studies show that part of the reason why people have aortic aneurysms and have heart attacks and strokes is because the age of their vessels is accelerated. We'll review that data in future videos down the road, but accelerated pace of aging within the vessels leads to cardiovascular events. So the take home here, my friends, it's not okay. The, the, this idea that we're normalizing obesity and overweight is just is antithetical to science. We have ample evidence to suggest that being overweight is unhealthy and we have the tools now to help improve and support a healthy body composition. So hopefully you found this information helpful and definitely check out the Bond Charge PEMF mat is a great tool to help you relax and be more calm in the evening time, particularly if you struggle with sleep issues and we'll catch you on a future episode down the road.